Hi there folks, my name's NovaWing24 and welcome to the Nova Wrap, your one-stop location for all your simulation news from the week that was. Alrighty, so we're going to start this week not with a release but with a preview. So quite some time ago I uh, announced, so well, well I didn't announce but I uh, put it up on the uh, on the Nova app that PMDG had announced they were bringing their first propeller aircraft uh, to their stable uh, with the release of their DC-6. Uh, so that is now in a point where it is being previewed uh, and uh, Kyle Rogers, a uh, fellow YouTuber, got his hands on a preview copy of it for X-Plane and he's been... Uh, flying around with it and enjoying some of his scenery some from where he was growing up and uh, yeah it's a very interesting little look at the aircraft uh, interior exterior so I definitely highly recommend it if you do want to have a look and uh, if you do want to check it out and see what this beauty of the skies is going to be like for you, definitely going to be definitely going to be worth a check out. Uh, for BMDG still haven't confirmed a release date for this yet, uh, but they will be bringing it to FSX P3D and of course to X-Plane obviously as this is where the preview is from. Alright, moving on to other simulation news. Alrighty, so the guys over at FSDG, Flight Sim Development Group, they've released their latest piece of scenery. So this time they've released Paro International Airport from in Bhutan. So uh, this has been known to be one of the more dangerous airports for the world. Uh, only for a small number of pilots are actually certified and allowed to fly there. So the challenge is, are you going to become one of those pilots? So it's quite affordable. It's available directly from the FSDG store. Head over there and pick it up there if you are interested, and of course I've got the uh, video playing in the background of that one there. Looking not too bad, not too shabby, not too shabby. Alrighty, in other um, release news as well, uh, the guys over at Rex Gaming Studios, they've released their latest part of their Rex uh, experience uh, with the release of Rex 4 Weather Architect. So um, this is a, their sort of uh, Rex's um, direct competitor to the sort of the widely used uh, weather engine, which is Actor Sky Next. Now Rex uh, for Weather Architect. Um, it's, it's looking, it does, you know, does much of the same thing, but it seems to do it in a slightly different way. So it uh, does the um, the modelling of the weather, future weather, a lot more uh, in a very much different way from what Sky does. And instead of relying on continual injections and continual regular updates, it actually sort of plots it and does it for you in advance. So it injects once and then that's it, which is a, a very interesting way of doing it as well. Um, but the other major difference that it has uh, over Active Sky Next is the fact that if you want to create your own weather, so not just flying with real world weather, but you actually want to create weather, uh, this is where, and I think this is probably why they went with the whole weather architect uh, theme and the name of it, is the fact that creating weather systems is a lot easier. You can do it literally very visually, very graphically, uh, and it will take care of all the other sort of you know low pressure calculations and stuff in the background. So if you're into creating weather, this is probably going to be a product that you're going to want to seriously look at um, more than something like Axel Next, which has the same capacity, it's just just not a very friendly, easy way of doing it. Whereas uh, Rex for Weather Architect, it seems to be a lot easier for that. So yeah, very interesting for you to do. Alrighty, moving on to other F6 releases, this time over onto the grand world of F6 Steam Edition. So there have been three releases in F6 Steam Edition. Uh, the Sim 720 Juggernaut does continue in F6 Steam Edition. Uh, so this time we've got, uh, this week we've got two releases from them, two of their products making their way over to the Steam store. So this time it is McClellan Palomar Airport, uh, KCRQ, uh, which I have reviewed previously. Uh, and uh, you can check out the video uh, if you are interested in that. So I'll pop the link in the description down below. And of course, the other one as well that's been released is one of their earliest uh, releases, which was the East Frisian Islands as well. That's out as well and uh, available now for you to add to your Steam Edition collection. So, uh, cool little set of uh, three, so uh, of five islands um, that are all put together there. Some uh, nice airports put in there with some really nice scenery to do as well. In the of our third release for F16 Editions Week, um, the Alabeo Stables have uh, brought another one of their great products to F16 Edition uh, in the form of the Granville GB Model Z Racer. So, uh, fairly, uh, it's 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 very unique aircraft, and uh, just literally, it is an engine with a pilot strapped to it. Uh, but you know what? It just it's always looked cool. It's always looked so messed up, but I really, really like it. Um, but it does. Uh, Alabama have to put a lot of quirks into it, uh, as they should do with this. So, really impressive to see. Um, I'm I'm looking forward to having planned this one. I'm fortunate enough uh, that uh, I've been sent a review copy of this one. So look out for that coming soon on the channel. 
All right, moving on to non-flight simulator releases for this week. So, uh, yeah, the guys over at Dovetail with their train simulation series, they've released a new route uh, for train simulator 2015 aff aficionados. The, Munch uh, the Munchen Rosenheim route has been added on, uh, which allows you to uh, go between two of the great cities and uh, go across this very, very historical route that goes through, uh, go through Germany and Austria. So, yeah, it's a very, very important sort of historical route as well. comes with uh, not just the route and, and the six scenarios that come built in with it, but fully compatible with Steam Workshop scenarios. Uh, it gives you a 64 kilometer section of the rail of the rail line and includes uh, two trains for you to use uh, in your explorations of this route. So you get a, uh, a multi sort of purpose unit, the DBBR423 and the uh, DBBR101 mainly for passenger services. So yes, uh, it uh, looks like absolutely beautiful, stunning scenery as we've come to expect from the guys at Dovetail. Uh, so if train simulation is your thing, this is probably, you probably already know about it, but hey, if you don't, there it is. There it is available now for access from Steam. Rounding out the releases for this week. So we've got uh, the guys over at Project Cars have released a two new additions for their Project Cars program this week. Uh, so we've got the modified car pack, uh, which gives you uh, three limited edition vehicles to put into that one. The uh, the very famous Pagani Zonda Roadster, the Ariel Atom 3, and the Roof SM SMSR. Uh, so pretty cool little vehicles, this one. Um, just these things are just... In real life, these things are just insane, and to be able to have them, in, in, they, I think we've all, I think, you, if you're into the car sims, you've always wanted to have these cars in your thing. They pretty much get rolled out with every car simulation thing, so it, good, good to see that they've uh, listed the community and brought those ones out as well. Uh, along with that, if you do pick up those, you can zap around the Audi Rapona Speedway, uh, is the latest track to be added to the collection. Uh, it's a Speedway pack there, uh, gives you... Um, it's a real immersive depth uh, piece of scenery for you and a new track for you to go through. Um, really, really cool. Gives the various different parts of the circuit as well because it's not just one track, it's multiple tracks so it's all fit into the one thing. So really, really cool. And that is available now as well for you race car aficionados. All right, folks, well, that rounds out the week and the wraps up the week in simulation news. Thank you very much for tuning in. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Uh, we've hit the 1,000 subscriber mark. Woo! And don't forget the competition is still running. Uh, for those of you who do want to grab yourself a free piece of scenery, uh, don't forget to look for the video that's celebrating the 1,000 subscribers. Head over there, uh, answer the questions, and you may be fortunate enough and lucky enough to win the prize. Oh, right, folks, thanks very much for tuning in. As always, uh, don't forget to, to subscribe to the channel, as I said. And if you do want to catch up with me and all the things that I get up to between videos, don't forget you can find me on Facebook and on Twitter. Just search NoBoying24. All right, folks, thanks very much for joining. Take care, safe skies to all, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.